chilly night. But whoa, waking up to this view. Stunning. Well, Willy Weather says it's 10 degrees and feels like 7, but it feels a shitload colder than that. <laughs> so, I packed up. I gotta ride. It's too freaking cold not to. Stuff me. Tommy tour stuff, but that was pretty spec. Oh, another great burger, another great burger. So it's 3.30, I'm going to leave Derwent Bridge now, go take this 14 mile road and come out at Taralea. And I think I might base myself there and do some of this area, maybe unloaded, we'll see. Oh, can't even turn the GoPro on and off, my hands are so cold. I have so many trails through here. Some are lops, some aren't, and I want to do them, but stuff me. Oh, it is freezing. Absolutely freezing. Alright, carry on. shit to ride on but do they take me to that So, I pulled into Bronte late last night. Look at this place, it's gold, mate. <laughs> this is one of those little out of the way stores that you could actually like just walk up and down the aisles and spend a million dollars because they've got all this shit that you didn't know that you needed that you really do. <laughs> like just gold stuff. Anyway. Shane not only does a mint coffee, Brilliant coffee, uh, great toasties, and is pretty famous for his fish and chips. But I got the possum gloves. <laughs> Good old Bronte Park General Store. <laughs> Good one, Shane. <laughs> so yeah, when I rocked up late, he goes, yeah, look, just put the tent out the back, and it was freaking gold. Look at the size of that tree. Nicely sheltered. There we go. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that did the job. Perfect. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Look at that, room with a view. Room with a view. And a fabulous couple of couches too. <laughs> and for those of you into fishing, look, Mark. There's all the trout here. <laughs> uh, 
having a good look at the map and waypointing some other interesting stuff. Woohoo! Hi, darling! <laughs> I'm off to Mina, get Mina. fuel. Mina, yeah. thanks for correcting me. Do you need anything? Sure? Okay, thanks for that. All right, off to Mina. I think I said that right. <laughs> go and get some fuel. All right, let's go on a little mini adventure. Wendy. Alright, let's take the back way around. So from Mina, Water Manor Road, back down, around the lake and back to Bronte Park. And early night, my big ride out to Skullbones Plains. Yay! So again, fantastic Shane at Bronte Park. He knows the um, uh, environmentalist or organiser, coordinator. That's it. Gave him a call, Philip. And Philip invited me out there and told me to grab the keys off Shane and sent me the PDF of this spectacular place out on the plains. So again, privileged, absolutely privileged, going to the off the beaten track places to see the magic. So it's um, bordering on the Jerusalem Walls National Park. Stunning, can't wait, so freaking excited. <laughs> good unloaded because <laughs> the front end's not such a massive issue when she's unloaded
kind of gobsmacked really, you know, for such a tiny island. You know, all these fabulous little remote camp spots that there's just no people. Tasmania people, Tasmania, what a little gem. What a gem. Carry on. needed to stop to show you this because I know the GoPro flattens everything out and makes everything generic in size but you know when I'm riding along and I'm going whoa look at those trees I'm talking about whoa look at those trees oh look at that that is like you know one and a half times the width of my bike all right prick Like, that's just magic. Oh, little animal living in there. Like, that's just magic. Look at that. So beautiful. So bloody beautiful. Like, I would love to know how old these are. Hey, look at it. Compared to my bike. Little dwarf. You, sir, are magnificent. Carry on. boat ramp and campground the lagoon look at that Shane joys are taking the long way home <laughs> oh this is great as a trail all the way back to Bronte and it follows the river. Oh no, hang on, it's one over. Okay. Some of his fish and chips tonight is a bit famous for them. Oh my god! 
childhood. Oh, childhood hero, Norman Gunston. <laughs> I'm videoing, absolutely. You gotta go on my vlog, darling. <laughs> oh, for those of you, you know, I'm gonna pretend that I'm not this age, but Norman Gunston, Paul Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a special I'm moment. Really, I'm really no one else. I'm his father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, privilege. Thank you, darling. <laughs> This is gold, mate. We are just having the oh, best yeah, combo. So this is Norman's fishing guides. <laughs> And you know so what? Much. He's still as lovable and adorable now in real life. <laughs> this is gold. Oh, Best chin wag ever. It's always an adventure, buddy. Bye. Carry on. Cheers. <laughs> All right. I'm going in to Shane's famous fish and chips. And you're going to destroy it with a sauce. No, no, just sauce for the chips. On the side. Ah, oh, the chicken salt. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that. I'll get you one. Thanks, Dal. Oh my God, this is great. Yeah. There you go. So I'll let you dip. Artery hardness. Hardness. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No worries, mate. Calorie replacement program starts now. That's heaps. Thank you. We're good. Thanks, Dal. <laughs> Dig in. Look at this, people. The magic keys to skull bone planes. 